Hello, today we're gonna to go over this book called The Drawings of Harry Carmine, and we're gonna dive in and look at this in detail. Let's go. Harry Carmine is a man that I studied uh, intensely when I was a young artist. I found his work to be compelling, extremely thought out in a quick manner. His uh, sketches of live models, I find really reminiscent of the Renaissance era, which he's known for, which is like Michelangelo and artists of that era. He's very descriptive of the, of the muscle tone in the figure, and he really nails a gesture. Uh, Harry Carmine lived in the Hollywood Hills above Hollywood, and he was really looked at um, as someone to study for the animation industry. A lot of the artists would study his work. If you look at his drawing style, you look at his line quality, the weight that he puts on the model, his light sources, his highlights, the way he outlines the musculature of the human figure. This is very, very quick drawing, and yet he's, he's all this information here. I mean, your job as an artist, I'll say this over and over again, is to uh, problem solve. And he's problem solving these gestures in a very, very fast manner. That's what you needed to get good at. So I studied him uh, intensely drawing his drawings. I mean, that's how you learn as an artist. Look at the foreshortening of this leg, the way he nailed that foot. It, there's really not a whole lot of reading in, in this book. It's mostly just three or four images per page. It's pose after pose of models from life drawing class. He was an instructor at the Art Center College of Design from 1952 to 1996. And he taught thousands of students. I mean, you could just see the motion in that, the weight of the model. This is a great book if you wanted to study figure drawing. And he's a great artist to study. I mean, look how he comes in here quickly. This is probably a five minute drawing. Look how he nailed all the light and the muscles on that back, all the way down the bottom. The weight of the model laying on that blanket, you, get, you feel how heavy it is. And I love the way he comes in with his, with the, the white Conti crayon and pulls up the highlights on the figure. So he's not just working with black, he's also working with two different tones, the white and the black on the gun paper and it really pulls out a lot of the uh, detail. It's a great book. There's not a whole lot of text in here, but I wanted to share it. It's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorite artists. Thanks for watching.